scary axe furries in the front of you. It's, it's just a whole bunch of baloney right now. How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to Flames Place, and today we are checking out The Red Hood, an upcoming horror game available over on Steam, and I'll have a link in the description box down below where you can pick it up or wishlist it if it's not out at the time you're watching this, as well as links to my Discord page on Twitter, you know, all that stuff. We'll go ahead and click on start. Thank you very much to the developer as well for giving me early access to this game, as well as providing me the key for it. Run, never stop. Choose the right way to avoid a strange serial killer from the forest. If you die, you will start the game from the beginning. Yes, good luck. You need it. Oh, okay. Oh, the music stopped. I was enjoying a little weird chanting. Never mind. Now we got like, very epic stuff going on. That appears to be the Red Hood. And we're up against Batman. Yep, that makes sense. Also, Red Hood is a Batman villain, if I remember correctly. It's very possible I might be wrong. It could be the Red Mask. I don't know exactly. I do know that Red Skull. Oh, oh, okay. Run, don't stop. The Red Mist is ch chasing you. Okay, well, that's good. That's a good start. I immediately turned around, looked at Death in the Eyes, and said, Oh, hello. How do you do? All right. Guess we're just going to follow the arrows. I can't extinguish my candle either. Okay, not too bad. Just run a lot. Die and die. Oh! Oh. Okay. Note to self, do not stop to read. Just act on impulse. So, who, who okay, first of all, who runs holding a candle like that? Also, second of all, wouldn't the candle extinguish from our constant speed? Do I have feetsies? I don't have feetsies. I almost ran to a wall. Okay. Let's go to the left here. Oh, that's a tree. Let's check it out. I see. We're going the puppet combo route of uh, just screaming at us. Okay. So, does the map change? This is a really good question. If the map doesn't change, then I need to go right, and we'll see if that kills me or not. Okay, this is the same. This is normal. Should be another arrow up ahead. Yep, we're good. All right, so we're going to go to the right this time. This looks good. This seems fine. It does, it did say choose the right path. Maybe they literally mean always choose the right path. Let's try this. Let's go. Do it. Nope. Nope, that's bad. That's gonna be death. Oh god, I can see him just chilling there. Also, thank you, Chip, for uh, barking as well. Alright, so it's right left. I Eventually, I think I'm gonna, you know, write this stuff down. But for now, I think that I'm just gonna be able to go right left and try to memorize it. Nope. Going to be honest, just memorization, not a very enticing way to play a game. But if there were some tells, something that like said, hey, yeah, the killer is over here, that would be good. Also, how many killers are there? Uh, unless he's like very fast. He, he might be just like the flash. Okay, right, left. Because he could just be running from mist to mist. That's not good. Okay, I guess that's okay. I, yeah, I really don't have like, oh god, there's there's three options. Right, left, right? Oh, this looks good. This is promising. Right. Oh, right, left, right, right. Oh, no, this is death. When death's like coming right towards you, you get this like second feeling about it. All right, so right, left, right, left, maybe? This is, this is like, this is the part where I'm just like, I'm basically just playing Simon Says with this game. I will say, I love the design. The Axe Man, very interesting looking, because he's wearing a wolf head, oh, or not even a, oh God, oh no. Oh, I got spun around, game froze for a second. Okay, we should be good. Uh, I'm hitting like the other buttons just to see if there's anything that happens. It doesn't seem to be the case. I was wondering if maybe I could uh, 
extinguish my candle instead of carrying it a foot in front of my face and bobbing it back and forth. Most likely singeing my hair. I screwed up, didn't I? No, I didn't. No, we're good. Okay, everything's fine. I'm just becoming a pessimist about this now. All right, right. Okay, and then it was it was right, left, right. Oh, I don't remember what I did last time. Okay, we'll try. Uh, I'll, I'll just try to remember what's going on exactly. Okay, we'll go left, right, left, right, left. Try this. Uh, left. Oh my god, okay, now this is getting to be the point where there's so many options. I don't know what's going on, I can't see well. Okay, I think we're all right. Right, left, right, left, and then everything just goes out the window. Oh, that's that's the mist. Uh, left? Oh god. Oh. Right? No. I even... I paused. I paused for a second because I was like, this doesn't feel right. It, it, it didn't feel right. Oh god, so right, left, right, left, and then just all out the window. Just balls to the wall, just don't stop running. You got mist in front, behind you. You got scary axe furries in front of you. It's just a whole bunch of baloney right now. Oh, okay, let's go. Right, yep, we're doing good. I don't know if this is like randomly generated per player too. It's very possible that if you do play this yourself, your path might be different. But it's also possible that this might just be predetermined. And it's just a matter of writing down a little sticky note that says what exactly you need to do. Right, left, right. I don't, there's no map. I just have my candle. So it'd be kind of cool if like, as you were at a crossroad, the candle flickered towards it or something. Okay, left. And then just everything just goes poorly here at this point. Okay, we're still good. Yeah, I remember now. That's, I thought that was a sign. It's not. Okay, we're good. All right, where is... Oh, I don't see the mist. That's a good sign. I'm out running the mist. All right, left. Oh God, right. Oh, wait, wait, no, no. Okay, well, I'm dead either way. Oh God, all right. Yeah, it let me go for a very long time. Didn't even give me the ending. Didn't even show me get my head chopped off. It just showed me the mist. Bunch of bugs attacking us in the mall. It's a, it's, if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's a Stephen King story slash movie slash TV miniseries, I guess. I don't know. The miniseries, I kind of like that. I, I think I actually like the miniseries more than I like the movie. Although the movie has a fridge Oh, oh. Oh, I saw him for a second. I was like, nope, you gotta turn around. I, I was too busy talking about Stephen King. Uh, so the book's decent. The uh, the movie has a much better ending than the book, I will say. And the miniseries has a much better uh, rest of it. Did I finish the miniseries? I don't remember if I did. I think I did. Did I already do the left? Okay, now I'm just losing my mind, I think, here. Oh, is this a... Nope. Okay, I was thinking maybe I could shortcut it. Just go free. Nope, we are stuck to the path. Yeah, so it's right, left, right. Am I just... Hmm. I might have just screwed up and not paid attention to when I was going left. Yeah, I think that's what happened. Yep, we're good here. This is right. It's all coming back to me now. My adventures in the woods, my candle and my basket of nom noms. And you know, the weird lantern looking things. It's rather interesting. All right, we're through the mist. 
Alright, now we go to the right again when we get to the three section. I must have said something else. <laughs> I guess three-way intersection works too. Although I guess technically it's a four-way. Since there's also the way that we came. Oh, music stopped for a second. I got a little concerned. Whoa, wee, hoo, wee, whoa, wee. Okay, nope, never mind. This is where I go left. Alright, now we're good. Now we hug the left. Just keep going. Pay no attention to the red mist behind me. God, dude. The, f the very foggy areas are actually pretty tense. Okay, so I kept going to the left here, which was leading to my doom. So what if I go to the right instead? All right, this is new. And she's out of breath. I don't blame her. I'm doing a lot of running, to be honest. Oh, God. Uh, left. Left again. Come on. Just gotta, like, go for it. I gotta pick a side and commit. Right. Now I'm getting to the point where I don't remember where I am at all. Oh, please don't be death. Please don't be death. Oh, it's not death. Oh, thank God. Not death. Uh, right. Uh, keep going. It's just, I mean, I don't really have another option. It's pretty much my only option is to keep going. I saw it for a fraction of a second, too. Man, this is actually kind of challenging once you get, like, into the further, further down. Uh, I don't know how much, like, actual content's in this game, though. If it's just this running, I mean, it's a fun little game, that's for sure. It's definitely spooky. It reminds me of, um, ooh, Run Like he not Run Like Hell. Um, oh, Race the Sun. That was the game I was thinking of. Very similar an idea to that, where you're just constantly moving forward. I don't know how long this path is, and I don't know how long I'm going to continue playing. Ah, I get stuck on the fence. Ah. Okay, now we go left. Uh, Alright. Like, I kind of want to see what is awaiting at the end of this. Also, I mean, it's a lot of running. This poor girl, she's out of breath already. Oh, to the right. I also kind of wonder what happens if I go a different way there. I haven't tried that yet. I may have just got I may have just gotten lucky and chose the right side there. Cause if you look, this does do that. Oh, left. So it's possible maybe that middle is death, but the two outsides are fine. A map of this would make this so easy. Which is probably why there's no map. Otherwise the game would have no point. It should be like, hey, follow the map. You're running you're out running the uh the, the mist still but you just follow the map and you're good to go all right to the right we're good Keep going just, just stay out of the mist all right so far i mean they both just say die so it doesn't really help me either way nope oh i saw that i saw him i saw him it was just chilling there Oh man, I had just enough time to turn around and not die. That was nice. Go this way? Nope. Oh no, the mist, the mist, the mist, the mist. Oh no. No, 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 no. Oh man. This is freaking harrowing when you get to this part when you're just like, okay, I need to figure out where I can go safely. This seems fine. Not death yet. That's good. Yeah, that was actually. Oh, right. Listen here, chump. Holy crap. Okay. So on the second one, they mer okay. So the middle and the and the right merge. So on the second one, go left. Run! Don't stop. Red mist is chasing to you. Oh, I just now realized how bad that English was. Should be run, don't stop. The red mist is chasing you. Not chasing to you, but. Technically, I do have a beta key. So these are things that can be fixed. Let's just keep going. Oh, I almost went the wrong way immediately. I, th 
think that this might be my last run. I'm doing I'm doing pretty decently, I think. I'm definitely learning. I'm a neural net processor, a learning computer. Alright, we have a left here. Yep, and then there's all this misty fog. Foggy mists. Foggy bottoms. There we go, we're good. Right on through. Like, I kind of feel that if the killer was chasing you, the game would be much mm, blander. But I also feel like the red mist isn't really that imposing. I mean, it's just it's, it's the red. No clue why red mist is chasing after us or anything like that. Hug this way. So yeah, when we get to this for that first intersection, we definitely want to go uh, to the right. Okay, I'm, try I'm, I'm trying to remember everything that I had just, literally just did. And I started panicking a bit and, you know, may have, uh, may have gotten a little spookied. So, very possible I forget where I was supposed to go. Alright. But as long as I take my time and don't charge headfirst into death, I should be okay. Like, I think that this way... Okay. So far, so good. In general, I, I tend to stick to the left. So when it feels weird, I'm gonna go to the right. Okay, we're good. Yeah, like, so you can kind of see the outline of him in the mist. And you can quickly, okay, this way is the way I need to go. And you can like quickly, if you if you have very fast reflexes, you can quickly stop running and turn around. But you also gotta make sure you have enough room between you and the mist to not get killed by it. Oh man, I don't wanna blink. I am literally concerned about blinking. I'm gonna go to the left. Okay. Okay, take a chance. Oh, the, the mist is super terrifying. Cause it's just like, I don't, I don't know if there's something behind him. Behind it or what? Okay, we're all right, we're all good. Everything's okay. I'm seeing more lanterns. That's a little worrisome. Don't do it. Okay, screw it, go for the mist. Uh, go left here? Oh, I don't want to blink, but I need to because otherwise my eyes will dry out and I'll be all scared and possibly crying. Oh, we're still good. We're still good. Uh, yeah, we'll go this way. Take a shot. I'm trying to like hug the corners to make sure I can see the mist. <gasps> oh my God. I see a bunch of lights. Holy crap, holy crap. Go, 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 go. Why is there a landing strip at grandma's house? I don't know, but okay, we made it to the front door. Oh. Why was there giggling? All right, so if you're looking for a, for a walkthrough on how to do this, I have no clear, uh, no idea how I cleared that. But I did. I got the end. Dot JPEG. Sweet. Exit Manu. Alright. So, yeah, there's a few typos. Um, I also don't really actually know what the price of this game is going to be. Uh, it's also possible that since I just have the beta key, there might be more added to the ending or story about it. But, yeah, this is actually pretty good. It, it definitely is a tense game, I have to say. I do love these kinds of runner games. Something like Temple Run or Jetpack Berry, where uh, games I played on my phone a long time ago. So yeah, I don't mind the monotony of running. It's the memorization that I have a bit of a problem with. If it's randomly generated, so I, it's not randomly generated, which is great. Uh, if it was randomly generated, that would be hell because each time you would, there would be no way to figure it out. If it was randomly, if you do end up going with a to the developer, if you do end up going with a randomly generated, some kind of tell about where the killer is would be great something with the candle flickering maybe or something like that would be a really good way to add it as some uh some kind of guide to it but yeah i i like this game i just i it depends on the cost of it if i think it's worth it or so if it's like a buck definitely worth what 20 minutes of gameplay roughly um if it's like 10 
maybe if more content's added. But let me know what y'all thought about the Red Hood in the comments down below. Give me a thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. Also, make sure to subscribe so you get these release new content. And as always, have a great day. Remember to burn bright. I will talk to you all later. Bye.